And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at an expansion for Starcadia Quest called Build a Robot. Just like those extremely expensive places at the mall that trick you into having your kid have a great experience and they build a bear and when it's done they treat it the same as a stuffed animal and you could have just went to the store and bought a stuffed animal. But I digress. Arcadia Quest, my favorite expansion for it, is pets. Little pets that ran around and just caused chaos and helped your different heroes. This is the same thing, except these robots are not set. They come in two parts. So you have a head and a torso, put them together, and waha, you have a little robot. So that's basically what this expansion adds besides another campaign and stuff. Note that as I show you the pieces and stuff that come with this campaign, there's a few other small little expansions that also add robots that are all work with this. So you'll see some of those robots in the mix from the little extra packs that uh, uh, come on sells besides this. But I'm going to be just talking about robots in general and the rules for them are in this box. Here they are. So what this game does is players are going to get a robot at the beginning of the game and you're going to be taking a bunch of heads and a bunch of the bottoms and players are going to be drawing a random one and putting them into their slot here. So let's say maybe I get Uber Drive. All right, so I put them together. I find the proper head and the bottom for the robot put together and the game comes with you know, a little bottom, so I can put it there to show that that is mine. Now, robots are considered to be small, so even if there are two units in a spot, a robot can still go into that spot. And in fact, on your turn, you can activate the robot no matter what you do. Whether you rest, whether you activate a hero, you can always move your robots. Robots have four movement points. They have usually one hit point and three defense. So they can be attacked. And with their movement points, they can move, go through portals, open doors, but it can't pick stuff up. Now, robots are going to have a special ability that's going to be at the top that it's like the, basically it says when a close ally performs an attack, then a certain number of enemy heroes in line of sight suffer one wound. How many? Well, at the beginning of the game, one of them. And as the game goes by, you're going to be able to level up your robots. To do that, you need to get three robot part tokens. You get a robot part token whenever you overkill a monster or if you kill an enemy hero. And sometimes they'll be in the scenarios for you to get them that way too. And then you just turn them in and you go up a level, which is in here going to add a hit point then a hit point and a defense die, then two hit points and two defense dice while making the bottom also powerful. Here's some other combos you might have. When a monster in line of sight is killed, then move a close character that many spaces and it will not trigger guard reactions. Here, enemies, uh, when an enemy hero in line of sight is attacked, enemy heroes in line of sight exhaust that many weapons. When an ally is killed, how sad, resurrect an ally, that many spaces from the shuttle. That's actually a pretty cool combo. Over blip. When an enemy moves into its tile, exhaust one boost upgrade from that many enemy heroes in line of sight. During your turn, you may discard one gadget or, or token on an empty space to change the color of a portal within that many spaces. Here, when an ally rolls any burst while defending, that many enemy monsters in line of sight suffer a wound. And so that's what these robots are doing. You're just running them all over the place, taking a look at, you know, they're, they're going to be helping a little bit. You just have to meet their condition somehow. So here's the thing. I, I love how these robots look. There's all these little cute robots and the fact that their heads snap off and, they, and it works pretty well. They just snap off here like this and I put it on a new one and it just snaps right in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The problem I have with the robots is that when you look at all their heads here, they don't look tremendously different. And in fact, if I ever get these painted, I think it would bother me that they would all be painted white and orange. And in fact, I think I would ask the person painting, because it wouldn't be me, to paint them in different colors. Although then it would be hard to match them with these cards. 
So I found that to be a little, I don't know, I just wish that they were a little bit more differentiated between the robots. Um, but that's still, they still are pretty cool and they do look different than everything else. You certainly know where the robots are on the board. There's also another whole campaign included in here. So you'll be able to play through this campaign, Signs of the Invasion, Starcadian Robot Division, etc. And it's going to use some new bad guys. So you can see them here. They're included in the box. You got the main big bad guy, Bulldozer, and Y-Shot. When attacking, Y-Shot gets basically a robot thing using the robot of its target level's crew. So this is only going to work if you're playing with robots. But Y-Shot is more powerful depending on how powerful your robot is. There's also a couple heroes that are included here. We have Leatron and Kylie. Leatron unexhausts a boost upgrade, and Kylie, when attacking if her targets on another tile, gain each success she rolls counts as two hits. Really like both of these because the extra addition, I mean, especially Kylie, her, that makes her ranged attacks really well done. There's also a few other things included, all these little tokens. We got the little turrets, which help. Turrets are pretty neat. And there's some new upgrades that are included in this set. Some of these are very specific to robots, like here. When defending, you get that many re-rolls based on your robot. Uh, after the attack, a close robot, robot loses its ability until the start of your next turn. Move your robot to your space, it becomes the target of the attack. So that's kind of interesting, you know, you can use your robot as a defense type thing or when attacking, gain that many re-rolls on the tag team. So these are great, but again, you're not gonna be able to throw this in willy-nilly. You have to use the robots if you're gonna be using these upgrades. There's also a few boards included with the game that are added to the set, just for purposes of mixing things up, and then a rule book that explains everything really well. I don't know that this is an essential expansion. I think the game is fun as it is. Starcadia Quest has a lot of stuff in it, but I love these little robots. Now, I'll tell you this. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of the uh, just randomly make a robot because, eh, but if you have this and you, there, there's a certain, I think there's six robots that are included in here maybe. If you have this and then you have a few other, um, little extra of the robots. I would just deal everybody two heads and two feet and you pick the combo that you like the best from that. It just makes it a little bit more, hey, I can pick kind of the robot that I want. I feel like some of the robots seem to have better powers than others, but at the same time, they're just fun. It gives you something extra to do. Even if you rest, you're like, well, I'm resting, which is a do nothing turn in Starcadia Quest, but at least I can move my robot around. Now, everything else in this set is really pointed. Like I said, most of the upgrades have to do with robots. The bad guys have to do with robots. The heroes don't. You can just take the heroes out and move them. And the extra boards, eh, hey, extra boards. Uh, but, you know, it's just more stuff. And they are cute. Starcadia Quest figures and heroes and monsters are all cute. These are cuter than cute. So, I don't know that I like this as much as I liked pets for Arcadia Quest. But then again, I also played with this almost instantaneously as soon as I got Starcadia Quest, so I didn't have that year or two build-up hype to get to this point. But either way, it's a fun expansion, and if you want to do just a little bit more on your turn without being too confusing and have a little cute robot run around that you've customized to some degree, then definitely check out Starcadia Quest, build a robot. Dice Tower Judgment, approved! <laughs> <laughs>